Hi everyone, it's Erin again. If you are a parent of a new student to the piano or your child is expressing interest, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you my big secret for practicing success and three steps to keep practice time positive and rewarding. The big secret to practicing success is you. You are the biggest. For these young students, you are the biggest reason for their success. You are their co-coach. I often tell my parents that when they sign their child up for piano lessons, they're signing themselves up for piano lessons. Now don't panic, that doesn't mean you have to learn and be proficient at the instrument as your student is, but it does mean that you are their co-coach. You're guiding them through things. So once you take that responsibility and sit down with them, practice with them, guide them through what they're doing, encourage them, you're going to see your students' progress leap off the music page. It's going to be incredible. Let me compare this to the well-known game of soccer for a moment. We send our kids to soccer practice multiple times a week and who is there? The coach and an assistant coach. They're leading the way, they have a structure for the practice session, they're telling them tips and tricks on being good players, they're even telling them when to take a water break. Then at the end of the week, they go to a game. And again, the coach is taking the charge, leading the way, helping those, those kids realize that what they did in practice can be applied in a game scenario. Now, piano is no different. Just like we wouldn't send all our kids to soccer practice without a coach, we don't wanna send our kids to the piano without a coach. And unfortunately, teachers are only there at the lesson time. So that's where you step in and you get to be that encouraging co-coach sit by them, practice with them, challenge them, encourage them. And as soon as you see yourself involved every day in the practice, you're gonna watch your students' progress catapult. So now that you're used to sitting with them every day and being their co-coach, here's three things that you can apply during your practice sessions that's gonna make it positive and rewarding every time. Number one is quantity over quality. Number two is setting daily goals. And number three is always showing encouragement and pride in your student. Let's go back to number one, quantity over quality. A lot of the times it's easy to set our little timer and say, go practice for 30 minutes, but 15 minutes of great structured practice is gonna be so much better than 45 minutes of unsure, trying to figure it out what to do practice. So. Quantity over quality is so important. And if you're not sure how to make it quality, go check out another video that we did on puzzle piece practicing. That'll give you an idea of how to structure just a short amount of time that you have. Number two is set daily goals. Even though your student might have goals set for the week from their piano teacher, or maybe you've set them, they don't know what to do every time they sit down. Right? So instead of having them sit down for 10 minutes and not sure what to do, if you sit down and say, let's get that right hand for the first line before you have to go to school. That's gonna be so much more effective than let's hurry and practice before you have to go to school. They have a small attainable goal and they're already feeling accomplished. They felt like they did something. They got better at piano in the five minutes that they had to practice. So set those small goals with them and watch them achieve them every day and they're gonna enjoy their progress along the way. Number three, show encouragement and pride often, regularly. Learning the piano is, and any instrument for that matter, is taxing, it is hard, it is new, it takes a lot of different skills and especially takes persistence and patience, which happen to be two of the benefits of learning an instrument as well. But every time your student or your child does something great, tell them. Make sure every day they're hearing how awesome they are for putting in that effort. Some of my favorites are, I couldn't have played that any better myself. It always gets a great reaction. And, and it's true, when they play something perfectly, let them know. Another thing you could say is, I can't believe that you memorized all those notes right in a row. When they see that you're proud and impressed, it gives them permission to be proud and impressed of themselves. And they should be, because it is a long process and then they're going to enjoy the process along the way instead of just waiting until they can play the piano perfectly. They'll enjoy making music throughout the entire time. I have been on both ends of the piano. I've been the teacher 
and I've been the student, so I know the challenges and the rewards. And I promise that you make a huge and vital difference in your students practicing, especially for these younger students. So as you practice sitting next to them and using these three tips I've given you, I guarantee your student's going to progress faster and enjoy making music from the very beginning of their piano experience.